Dan apologizes over insensitive comments on the rape um, saga. Right. Um, his um, comments is not something I even want to reiterate on television. Right. Um, but he basically, um, that's his apology, basically. Uh, it's a, his apology has no, it can't even compete with the problem that he put online. I agree with you when he said, you, you, I don't even want to reiterate it. Like, I don't want to have to repeat that on social media, but I mean, on TV rather. But I think it's, it's something that a lot of men think. I, and this man was just stupid enough to put it out there. It's sad and it's very scary for me as a woman and someone who, you know, tries to advocate for justice against women, especially rape. Mm. It's, it's a blow to my face that my worries and, and my insecurities are not in my head and they're actually mm. very true. And that the society really, truly does not care about women and how they are hurt. And there's a part in his, in his tweet where he said... It doesn't like when you come on social media and you talk and you do it doesn't even make a stain on like it's like pretty much that like, on your whites that like, it doesn't do anything to, yeah. to, to, to the person that you are accusing nothing and they'll be fine that really like gutted me but his apology he can really suck it like i don't need it i don't I, you can't apologize for something like that um it's it was too long. He said too many words, too many it wasn't tweets. Just a tweet. It wasn't just a tweet. It was he was expressing himself, himself. Um, and you can't form that. Even when I am drunk or intoxicated, I can't even like Say how try and be creative enough to put put that out there. Even if I wanted to, like it's bizarre to me. So uh, yeah, I, I'm done with him for sure. I understand how insensitive um, Joya can may have sounded, and um, I want to believe that he Not had... Not may, he sounded. Yeah, that, no, he may have sounded because I want to believe he had good intentions when he was putting that out there. And the good intentions I'm speaking about is the fact that, yes, we keep saying no to rape, but we it's a low percentage, yes, but it should be addressed as well. We still have people will come out to accuse people for clout. It's a low percentage, don't get me wrong, but we need to address that. And I think that was his intention. He was trying to address people that accuse people for clout chasing. But maybe the way he put the words out there, very insensitive. Maybe the words didn't come out right. Yes, I agree. But we that should, you cannot stay in their whites. But we should not totally <laughs> ignore the people we just mm. come out, maybe they're bitter, you're bitter about your ex, it broke your heart and, or something. And now that um, rape is a trend right now, you jump but on the But based on what wagon. he's saying, your, even your point is not valid because he's saying that it's not a big issue to even falsely rape someone because it does nothing. That's what he's saying. He's saying that it doesn't matter yeah, the if you come out, false or in, not, in, in his even if you raped me. Rape, false or not. The point that's, is the woman comes out to say that she's... That's the problem with the society because... He, and he's part of that. He's part like, of that problem. So if uh, you're saying that he has good intentions when he's coming out to talk about false accusation, he's not talking about false accusation. He's saying that your noise, both true, false, true, whatever, is it means nothing. He called it social advocacy, to, just to bag your social... So he mocked advocating for rape. He mocked the idea of trying to rally behind people and stand for them that you are just playing. You know, you know that saying in Yoruba that says, what are you looking for in Sokoto when the problem is in your Shokoto? That, that, that saying always comes when somebody knows the reason for your struggles and is mocking it. That why are you running around making a, a, a noise when I know what your issue is? Mm -hmm. That's his tone. And he's saying, I know what your issue is. And, I, 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 and if I decide not to do anything about it, I will get away with it. He's a sick man. If it, this is not about false accusations. And Nimi said something yesterday, and uh, I think Elsie yeah. it was a bit. Elsie and I were a bit hesitant because she said, "Let's not focus on this rape accu accusers, the false accusers, but, yeah. uh, accusers, because even the real rapists get no, nothing happens to them. They're roaming around, preaching, teaching, making policies, living large. Nothing is happening. So while we're at it, let's not pretend like we need to have a conversation about about, about false accusers." Yeah. Uh, accusers.